Hello parents, welcome to second quarter. The first thing I want to introduce you to today is Clever, our new security single sign-on portal. Have you ever been to the airport and you go through TSA? It may not be our favorite thing to do, but once you get through security, you can go anywhere in the world and you don't have to show your driver's license again, you don't have to unpack your bag all over again, you are set. Clever is great because it makes sure that your kids are not only safe, but they also only have to enter their username and password one time. We have already linked in all of the programs that we're going to talk about today. One login, one portal. Now let's turn it over to Miss Garner. She's going to show you around Achieve 3000. Achieve 3000 is the 2020 version of LexHouse scores. LexHouse scores, they've been around forever. Elementary teachers would write and tape on the spine of books the LexHouse score number, and you knew you went to a certain bin depending on what kind of reader you were. It takes what we know as parents about LexHouse scores, those same tried and true systems of reading comprehension, and it's moved it to the digital age. It's a database of articles organized by topic, even sometimes by genre, and it's high interest. So under the Achieve 3000 umbrella, are a couple programs that you might have heard already. Actively Learn and Smarty Ants. Actively Learn teachers select the different articles for students to read, and those articles are all given at the same level. Achieve 3000, each article is the same content, the reading ability changes based on the need of your student and the Lexile score. And what's also great about it is that it goes cross curricular All the teachers have that information and they're able to use that for their assignments. Each student is reading the same article in the class. It's just personalized to meet their level. And that is the beauty of having achieved 3000 K through 12. It will move with them year after year. It's a K through 12 thing. We grew up being like one size fits all. You have to fit into this system. You have to fit into this mold. And what Achieve 3000 does is meets your student at their level and then helps them grow. Here's how we're gonna use it. Your students will be on Achieve 3000 three times a week. According to all the data that we surveyed, three is the magic number. And it might take your students a day, a couple days to cover one topic, and that's okay. Achieve 3000 is the 2020 version of LexHouse course. Here we are with the Achieve 3000 learning platform. You'll be in your student's Google Classroom. Go to the three lines in the upper left-hand corner. What you really want to focus on are the My Lessons. And here, what it'll take you to is all the assignments that your student has been assigned based by the teacher. Um, there's a start date and an end date, the title of the article, a little synopsis of what it's about, and the different topic. Let's look at an example. First, your student will start off with some pre-test questions. They're really meant to be fun, um, so it engages them in what they're about to read. And really what this is doing, it's an algorithm. It's figuring out what your kids know and what they don't know. Notice on the upper right-hand side, there are some definitions. At the end of the article, they'll take a quiz, and the types of questions that they are receiving are based off the Lexile score from the pre-test. This is intuitive. So based on how your students answer the questions, it will either make the questions more difficult, the comprehension questions, or it'll keep it the same because they might need some more reps. Once they finish, they can go ahead and do some extra fun activities, some reinforcement of what they just read. When you're done, go back to Google Classroom, click on the Classwork tab, go to the assignment, make sure you turn it in. If you're finding, if you're checking on your students at Chief 3000, that there are several parts and they haven't finished everything in one sitting, that's okay. Tell them to take a break. You'll come back to it. That's the, also the beauty of Achieve 3000. They can leave it and come back to it. Right now, we're using Khan Academy in our math program. Khan Academy meets them where they're at and it provides videos, hints, and help along the way. So they're really good at fractions. They can move on past fractions right away. And if they need help in long division, it will give them that extra help that they need in long division. So the map testing that your student just did, it's letting our teacher know how your student is progressing and growing throughout the year. Now the way this wraps into Khan Academy in our math program is we can actually take that data, put it into Khan Academy, and it will create a customized learning pathway specific to your student. I wanna show you parents how this works. Let's take a look. So here we are in the Math Accelerator, and you'll see the four areas that align with the numbers in your student's map report. 
When I click on geometry, it's gonna jump in and ask us to take a course challenge. We're not gonna do that right now. Notice in the Khan Academy dashboard up here, it is this lovely peach color. That indicates to your student that they're in the math accelerator, in that customized learning pathway that has been created for them individually. Let's jump to an assignment. Here's the question for the student. You'll see that it's a multiple choice answer. There's also an option for a calculator, so the student can bring up a calculator to work on the problem. If your student gets stuck, they can watch a video to review or learn the material if they don't know it. Once your student is done watching the video, it's easy for them to flip right back to the problem they were working on and resume. If they still aren't sure what to do, they can get a hint by clicking the Get a Hint button. Khan Academy will actually work out the entire problem for them if they need it. Most assignments are only four questions. Now let's show the summary and see how we did. So we only got one out of four correct, but the great news is your student can keep trying this over and over again until they get 100%. In fact, as you see here, your student can go over any assignment, quiz, or test until they get 100% they can have a perfect score in Khan Academy every time if they just keep trying. Well, that's it for today, everybody. But if you have any questions at all, be sure to send me an email. It's gonna be a great second quarter.